Conspiracy theorists have long claimed the government is somehow controlling the weather despite a lack of evidence to back it up. That meteorologist here in Texas may be coming close to controlling the weather, sort of. Channel 6 News reporter Stephen Adams is in the Verify Center with more. We set out with a simple question. Can you control the weather? And we found the answer right here in Texas. But first, as we do with every Verify story, let's show you our sources. First, there's George Bomar. He's the Weather Modification Program Specialist at the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, and he's basically the state's top meteorologist. Then there's Jonathan Jennings. He's also a meteorologist, and he runs the West Texas Weather Modification Program. And then there's Phil Philbert. He's an experienced pilot who makes weather modification flights. So is weather modification the same as weather control? And if not, then what is it? Control is really not the right word. We like to think of cloud seeding as being a way of nudging the natural process along. When you talk weather modification in Texas, George Bomar is the guy. He says most weather modification in Texas involves something called cloud seeding. It's a technique used to generate extra rain from a thunderstorm. And it works like this. In a thunderstorm, water vapor inside a cloud gathers around particles like ice crystals, which help turn the water into liquid rain. But sometimes there aren't enough particles to produce a lot of it. When a meteorologist locates a storm that's not going to produce a lot of rain, he or she dispatches a pilot. The pilot then flies a small aircraft along the edge of the storm, lighting off flares that release seeding materials, usually salts or silver iodide. Those materials then get sucked into the storm. The water vapor gathers around the newly added particles, and hopefully that causes more rain. Seeded storms on average deliver nearly two and a half times the amount of rainwater as an unseeded storm. Cloud seeding has been happening in Texas since about 1970. It peaked in 2003 when it was being done across roughly a third of the state's land area. Seeding slowed in 2004 when a grant program disappeared. But there are still six projects happening in Texas, and they're all licensed by the state. We also monitor the uh, conduct of these cloud seeding operations to ensure that they abide by the terms of their permit. So cloud seeding doesn't control the weather, but it can give Mother Nature a push. But is it safe? We drove to San Angelo to find out. That would be a prime candidate for both seeding and also the hail suppression that we do. Jonathan Jennings' water modification that program tries to do two things, enhance well. rainfall and suppress hail. In addition to helping farmers, Jennings says cloud seeding recharges aquifers. If we weren't recharging aquifers, we would simply run out of groundwater. And out here in West Texas, most of the communities here depend on the groundwater on a daily basis. The San Angelo site has four plants, specially modified for cloud seeding. Phil Filburn is the chief pilot who flies this 250 horsepower Piper. We do everything that we can to minimize the risk to the airplane and the pilot while the cloud seeding is going on. That means knowing what to do if he gets sucked into a storm, like knowing which way to turn the aircraft to get back to clear air. Whenever the pilot starts to feel uncomfortable, it's, it's their choice to go ahead and pull off the thunderstorm and maybe revisit it. The state says it has never lost an aircraft or a pilot, and George says testing has shown only trace amounts of silver iodide in groundwater, well below the federal threshold. Jonathan says that's because the seeding agents get so spread out and diluted that there's no major risk to the environment. We've been doing this for over 20 years in San Angelo. If there was an environmental impact, we would see it. So can we control the weather? Well, no. But we can seed clouds to help storms produce more rain or to last a little longer. As for safety, there haven't been any mid-air disasters linked to cloud seeding in Texas, and it doesn't seem to be hurting the environment. And we should mention, some people confuse cloud seeding with conspiracies about chemtrails. We can't speak for those, but we can tell you this is not the same thing. In the Verify Center, I'm Stephen Adams, Channel 6 News.